Toking Up in Tokerville, Utah. I could not have come up with a better name if I tried because it's a perfect little town to run a 5K turkey trot. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's Thanksgiving morning and you're gonna be seeing this the next day on Friday, seeing or hearing whatever platform you're listening to. And the reason I'm doing this is because my channel here, Microdose U, is all about microdosing psilocybin to feel better, to get rid of the mental health issues and the craziness that lurks in our lives. And as I'm approaching the four year point, it'll be four years this in, in April, April, 2025, for almost four years of microdosing, I just wanna share with you how um, this has totally changed my life and will change yours. I'm about to embark on a 5K turkey trot in Tokerville and no, didn't toke up, but definitely took a nice microdose. Uh, but I couldn't resist the title. Um, it's my first race actually since April of this year where I did, a, I think I reported to you, I did a 10K. And the reason I'm reporting to you from this race is because I have to say, I really feel so much better throughout my entire body, mentally and physically, from microdosing magic mushrooms. I was diagnosed about about a year and a half ago with uh, moderate to advanced osteoarthritis in my knees, which is pretty debilitating, pretty difficult, especially since I've been a lifelong athlete, running, backpacking, skiing. And it's, it's definitely limited what I do to, to a point. However, I don't, I don't give in, I don't give up. Um, as you'll see today, this 5K run is gonna be, it's not just a regular 5K run on the road, it's gonna be on trails. So it's gonna be more difficult and more uh, challenging than just a regular 5K. I'm not doing it for time. I don't really care what my time is. I'll, um, you know, at some points I'll, I'll run, at some points I'll probably walk very fast. It is a trail. You gotta watch your footing on, on loose gravel, rocks, things like that. However, I think my microdosing journey has guided me and taken me to the point where I'm totally confident doing this and it shouldn't really be any type of a problem. And again, the reason I'm reporting to you from the starting line of the Tokerville Turkey Trot 5K, token up in Tokerville, baby. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because no matter what you choose to do in your life, no matter, you don't have to run a 5K, you don't have to run a marathon, you don't have to run an ultra, you don't have to run a 10K, it, it doesn't matter. Choose what you love. And I do believe in getting outside though, getting outside and doing something. I've, I've reported to you many times, there's something about um, working out, exercising outside in nature, as opposed to going into the gym and getting on an elliptical or getting on a treadmill. Now, I'm all in favor of the gym. I'm a gym guy, I love the gym. I uh, have been using a personal trainer for quite some time to get stronger. However, I think going outside and working our muscles and working our mind is, is more powerful than anything you could ever do inside. I really do believe that. So I'm about to embark on this. I'm, I'm gonna try to get you a little bit of footage from the race itself. If I don't, um, I, I will have tried at, at the very least, but I'll try to get you some and then I'll be back on the other side and I'll share with you what I learned exactly what I learned doing this 5K in Tokerville, Utah on the trail and how it can help change your life for the better. Because like, like I said, we're all in the same boat. We've all been through so much. I might be a little bit ahead of you on the timeline because I started doing this microdosing journey close to four years ago, but it doesn't matter. Whenever you choose to start, whenever is right for you, it's time to totally change your life. So let's get out on the trail, let's do this thing, and I'll be back with you on the other side. Okay, well, I'm back with you, I finished. Uh, I was gonna try to get some footage along the way, but I gotta tell you, this was, uh, not an easy 5K to run. It was on a trail, a lot of, uh, a lot of rocks, a lot of loose, loose debris and stuff. And um, almost, not really bouldering, but like almost climbing over rocks. I, I could have lost my footing and gotten injured pretty seriously. A lot of uphill, going over tree branches, under tree branches. It was, I can't say it was simple. Uh, but I am so glad I finished this. Again, it was my first run, first race, first time race since April. Um, I just feel really good. And, and okay, so what does this have to do with microdosing? A lot. 
because the microdosing has given me the energy, the guidance, the, the wherewithal, the, the desire just to get out there and not caring about my time as much as enjoying the experience. I think too many times in my life, I was so concerned about being competitive and worrying about who I'm passing and worrying about my time that I, I maybe I didn't enjoy the whole experience. It's very possible. So now the mushrooms being teachers have said, hey, Dave, you're getting older. Take a step back. Enjoy every moment. Yeah, there were moments that I almost thought I was going to trip over rocks and kill myself, but I enjoyed those moments because I, I gathered my balance and regained and um, I, I was okay. I was all right. There's some, um, some, some kids have wandered into the set here. I, 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 I um, built a little studio here by the rocks and kids are curious and wandering into the set, but that's okay. Everybody here is happy. Everybody's having a good time. Um, a lot of smiles, a lot of positive energy, and it's a really good change from what's been going on the past, I don't know, what, three weeks since the election? About three weeks. It's a really good change. I'm seeing people that there's no political discussions here. There's no signs. There's, no, there's none of the bullshit anymore because I'll tell you something. I totally am fed up. I mean, I basically have lost some followers and friends because they think... They think I wasn't doing like, quote unquote, the right thing that they would do. And you know something? The mushrooms have taught me. I am in control. I'm in control of my life. I can do what I want. If somebody chooses not to follow me, not to be my friend, that's up to them. But I am totally in control. And you can think the same thing. You can do the same thing. Let's make it. Let's make a deal together. We're no longer going to worry about what other people think of us. Life's too short. There, there's no way you can please everybody on this planet. I don't try anymore. If somebody doesn't like the way I do things, if somebody doesn't like the way I believe in something, if somebody doesn't like the way what I post on Facebook, you know something? Too bad. Do you think, do you think I care? Too bad. Let them believe what they want. Let them go on with their lives. I don't wish them any harm, but I choose not to interact with those types of people. Strongly opinionated and judgmental. And if you don't agree with them, with everything, they cancel you. Those are not the kind of people I want to hang around with. Those are some sad people. Some sad, disturbed people. And I don't know why running this... Tokerville 5K on rocks and, and uphill and sand and branches and all kinds. Of, I don't know why that got me to think about this, but it got me to think about how positive my life is now. And yours can be the same, but we have to, you have to get rid of the negativity. And I've done that. I'm doing it. I'm not saying that more negativity won't come up in my life. I'm not saying that. It will, but you deal with it and you realize that I am in control. And you say, I want you to say the same thing back to yourself right now. I want you to use the first person. I am in control because you are. And if you don't believe you're in control of your life, it's going to go in uh, directions that you don't like. I promise you. So starting today, if you have not done this yet, I want you to say, I am in control of everything. Somebody treats you wrong, take care of it or get away from them. Don't take any more BS, okay? I mean, I'm at, again, I'm out here again. Beautiful Tokerville, Utah. It's in Southern Utah. It's very close to Zion National Park. Very, very close. It's kind of like the gateway to Zion. If you're going to Zion National Park, there's a very good chance you're gonna drive right through Tokerville. So if you ever do, um, remember, remember the Tokerville 5K. Maybe I'll meet you here next year because we'll all be toking up in Tokerville. What do you think? Maybe we can have a little meet up here next year. That would really be fun. Or somewhere. Let's think about that. How much fun would that be? 
Okay, this is a big weekend, busy weekend. You probably don't have time for an extended episode, so I'm gonna keep it really short today, but I want, I'm throwing a tremendous amount of positive energy towards you right now, a tremendous amount of energy. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, look at my medal. Look at my medal and my number. I earned them both, I finished this thing. Again, 5K, it's not long. But when you're running over rocks and uphill and scree and branches and all kinds of craziness, it's long. <laughs> Oh, if you like what you're seeing here or listening to, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I've got a brand new episode that comes out every single Wednesday and Friday. I do my best to keep you up to date with what you need to do in your life to feel as good as you possibly can every single day. Okay, till next time, Dr. Dave, have a great holiday weekend. I'll see you next week. Love you. Okay, so after I switched the recorder off, there are three things that came to my mind that I just wanna share with you before I leave you today. So number one, get out in the sun. No matter what you do, no matter how long you do it for, get out in the sun, it's really, really healthy for you, I promise you. Number two, be your true self. Don't try to fake what you are to please other people. It will catch up to you eventually. It will not work, I promise you. I went through a long time of, I guess, like faking it and I wasn't really the true person I really was and it absolutely caught up to me. Now I'm paying the price. Um, thank goodness everything's better now for the most part, but I definitely paid the price for that. Be the true you. Do not worry about what other people think of you. And number three is more of just a little story. At the finish line, um, I was going to get a banana and some water and some, I, I, some young woman was working there and I went up to the poster. There was a big poster that said Tokerville 5K. So I said, Tokerville 5K, kind of to myself, Tokerville 5K. And she looked at me and said, oh yeah, Tokerville, it's named after the Indian chief, not the drug. And that's how she talked kind of. And I said, what, what do you mean? She said, you know, some people think that it's named after the drug, Tokerville. And I said, well, I had to explain, it's not really a drug. Toke means to take kind of like a drag off of a marijuana cigarette. I had to phrase it in the easiest way I possibly could to her. She said, oh, I, I, I don't really know anything about that. And I looked at her and said, you're probably better off not knowing. And that's how we ended it. Okay, talk to y'all soon. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you're doing to get out in the sun and to start feeling much, much better. I will see you on the next episode.